Hello, VisBox here. The API tool has made it to release candidate one with the help of our beta team. Today I'm going to demonstrate full pressure buttons with the capable PlayStation controller. Uh, but first, welcome to the API tool. This tool allows one to explore the full potential of the foreplay with the version 2.0 uh, firmware. What you are looking at here is the optional interface for the foreplay. This tool can send and receive data from the foreplay without drivers using only HID communication. Although this is a Windows based application you see the same HID communication is available with other operating systems. It's even possible to do this over HTML5. Hyperspin is currently working on a plugin using just that and may be the first software to take advantage of the API. So here on the screen you will see the PlayStation controller is detected on port 1 is a DualShock 2. This controller has pressure buttons on 12 of the buttons. Um, the foreplay uh, normally will auto map um, the square, the, the X, L2, and R2 uh, to analogs. You see that up on top, the red bars. Uh, it's been that way since uh, early 1.5 release. Uh, 2.0 in addition to that can, can take that a little bit further. Uh, those buttons are configurable uh, if you read the manual on 1.5 um, to any of those 12 face buttons but you can only have four at once and two are kind of locked in place um, if you see here um, the button one and two are lighting up the colors that color represents the pressure the darker the color the ab the, the lower the pressure and the brighter the color, the harder the pressure. Uh, it even works on directionals. And of course, the L2 and the R buttons. The API source code for this is available on Get, and you can find the link uh, in this video. If the emulator developers pick this up, we can look forward to some exciting improvements in the way that we do emulation. So there you have it. Um, taking full advantage of pressure buttons on the API tool with the version 2.0 software. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting news on the API tool with version 2.0.